Regrettably, the late passage of the 2017 budget has significantly constrained budget implementation. As you are aware, the 1999 Constitution authorized necessary federal government expenditure period to the 12th of June 2017 when, 20, when the 2017 Appropriation Act was signed into law. This year, we have worked very hard to achieve an earlier submission of the medium-term expenditure framework and fiscal strategy paper and the 2018 Appropriation Bill. Our efforts were to avail the National Assembly with sufficient time to perform its important duty of passing the appropriation bill into law, hopefully by the 1st of January 2018. It is in this spirit that I solicit the cooperation <laughs> It is in this spirit that I solicit the cooperation of the legislature in our efforts to return to a more predictable budget cycle that runs from January to December. The 2014-18 budget proposal uh, for the budget of consolidation. Specifically, we will sustain the reflationary forces of our first two budgets. In this regard, the key parameters and assumptions for the 2018 budget are as set out in the 2018 to 2020 medium term expenditure framework and fiscal strategy paper. These include benchmark oil price of United States dollars $45 per barrel, oil production estimate of 2.3 million barrels per day, including condensate, C, exchange rate of 305 Naira to United States dollar for 2018, D, real GDP growth of 3.5%, and E, inflation rate of 12.4%. Based on the above fiscal assumptions, and parameters, total federal collectible revenue is estimated at 11.98 trillion naira in 2018, such that the three tiers of government shall receive about 12% more revenue in 2018 than the 2017 estimate. Of the amount the sum of 6.387 trillion naira is expected to be realized from oil and gas sources. Total receipts from the non-oil sector are projected at 5.597 trillion naira. The federal government's estimated total revenue is 6.607 trillion naira in 2018, which is about 30% more than the 2017 target. As we pursue our goal of revenue diversification, non-oil revenues will become a larger share of total revenues. In 2018, we project our oil revenues of 2.442 trillion naira and non-oil as well as other revenues of 4.165 trillion naira. Non-oil and other revenues resources of 4.165 trillion naira. Include several items, including share of companies' income tax of several hundred and nine four to seven billion naira. Share of value added tax of 207.9 billion naira. 
customs and exercise receipts of 324.9 billion naira. Federal government independent generated revenue of 847.9 billion naira. Federal government share of tax amnesty income of 87.8 billion naira and various recoveries of 512.4 billion naira, 710 billion naira as proceeds from the restructuring of government's equity in joint ventures and other sundry income of 678.4 billion naira. A total expenditure of 8.612 trillion naira is proposed for 2018. This is a nominal increase of 16% above the 2020-17 budget estimate. In keeping with our policy, 30.8% of 2.652 trillion naira of aggregate expenditure, inclusive of capital statutory transfers, has been allocated to the capital project. We expect our fiscal operations to result in a deficit of 2.005 trillion naira or 1.77% of GDP. This reduction is in line with our plans under economic recovery and growth plan to progressively reduce deficit and borrowings. We plan to finance the deficit partly by new borrowings estimated at 1.699 trillion naira. 50% of this borrowing will be sourced externally, while the balance will be sourced domestically. The balance of the deficit of 300 and 6 billion naira is to be financed from proceeds of privatization of some non-oil assets by the Bureau of Public Enterprises. The proposed 8.612 trillion naira of 2018 aggregate expenditure comprises a recurrent cost of 3.49 4 trillion naira. Debt service of 2.014 trillion naira. C. Statutory transfer of about 456 billion naira. D. Sinking fund of 220 billion naira to retire mature and bond to local contractors. E. Capital expenditure of 20428 trillion naira excluding the capital component of statutory transfers 456.46 billion naira was provided in the 2018 budget for statutory transfers the 5% increase over last year's provision is mainly due to increases in transfer to Niger Delta Development Commission and the Universal Basic Education Commission, which are related directly to the size of oil revenue. We are closely monitoring our debt service to revenue ratio. We shall address this ratio through our non-oil revenue generating drive and restructuring of the existing debt portfolio. Presently, domestic debt accounts for about 79% of the total debt. Our medium-term strategy is to reduce the proportion of our domestic debt to 60% by the end of 2019 and increase external debt to 40%. It is not worthy that rebalancing our debt portfolio 
will enhance private sector access to domestic credit. Distinguished and honorable members of the National Assembly, you will recall that in my 2017 budget speech, I promised a new era for Nigeria and to the old ways of over dependence on oil revenue. The statistics and the initiatives I mentioned earlier show that this new era has come and the old Nigeria is surely disappearing. We must therefore all work together to protect and sustain this change to create a new Nigeria. A Nigeria that feeds itself. A Nigeria that ultimately utilizes its resources. A Nigeria with a diversified, sustainable and inclusive economy. Mr. President of the Senate, Mr. Speaker, distinguished honorable members of the National Assembly, this speech would be incomplete without commending the immense patriotic and collaborative support of the National Assembly in the effort to move <laughs> our great nation forward. I wish to assure you of the strong commitment of the executive branch to deepen the relationship with the legislature. Nigeria is emerging from a very difficult economic period. If we all consent, cooperate and support one another, we can consolidate on our exit from the recession and firmly position Nigeria for economic prosperity. All the projects presented within this budget have been carefully selected and subjected to extensive consultations and stakeholder engagements. As a government, we are determined to bring Saka to our people, improve their lives, and deliver on our promises to them. 2018 is a crucial year as we survive to ensure that we consolidate our successes and institutionalize the policies and practices that it drove this about. I appeal to you to swiftly consider and pass the 2018 appropriation bill. It is therefore with great pleasure and a deep sense of responsibility that I lay before you this distinguished joint session of the National Assembly, the 2018 budget proposal of the Federal Republic of Nigeria.